Hey, it's me again, checking into the Kimpton Hotel Aris in Asheville, North Carolina. Come with me. Right this way. Ah, this is a beautiful hotel room. Nice and airy. Very Kimpton-y, of course. Bright, sunny day here in Asheville. I am looking forward to getting out there. Ooh, nice view of the mountains out there and of some of the historic downtown. It is about time I explore. We'll be here all week. Beautiful day in Asheville. Woke up and it's Pretty rainy, but we're boarding the bus. <laughs> Just finished up a tour at the rustic and fairly upscale Crown Plaza, Asheville. Now we're about to do a community service project. Renaissance Asheville Hotel and you can see they have one of the better views from all of Asheville. You can see the mountains, you can see the rain moving out. It's uh, actually the biggest hotel in downtown Asheville and we're about to go see the rest of their meeting space and some of their guest rooms. Okay, here we are at the Foundry Hotel in downtown Asheville. This is a former steel foundry, very, very cool hotel. It's now Curio Collection by Hilton. And uh, although it looks kind of large, it's boutique, only 83 rooms. And unfortunately, all 83 of the rooms were used last night, and so they couldn't show us any. But we did get to see some of the very cool spaces, and I'd like to make a, a return visit here someday. A little pricey. Uh, particularly for Asheville, uh, rates are going to be in the three and four hundreds for groups, but if you find the right one, it's uh, a very special spot. And we are back. We are at the Doubletree Asheville downtown, which uh, is a nice modern downtown option with a fair amount of meeting space good for about 50 or 60 people it has a very hyatt place vibe which is because it opened as a hyatt place uh, but looks great as a double tree doesn't include all the amenities that hyatt place used to like breakfast and all that but uh, still a really good mid-scale option for your groups in Asheville. pouring my oil from my jigger into my candle. Fun! Okay, now I am stirring my candle to mix the oil and the scent in a spiral motion from top to bottom. Make sure all that good scent gets to the top so I don't have a candle that smells like nothing until the last few minutes. All right, this is the Cambria downtown Asheville. Exceeded everyone's expectations. Very modern, very trendy, sleek, and has this great rooftop, which isn't useful when it's raining. But um, if you look over there, blue skies. Anyway, really like the hotel. Uh, solid amount of meeting space, and even can take government rate right in the middle of the week for me. Another hotel stop, another rooftop. We are at the AC Hotel, Asheville. AC, of course, one of these trendy new uh, brands from Marriott. Actually started in Europe, but now they're popping up all over the place. I wanna show you just what kind of views you get here at the AC 
rooftop in Asheville. You can actually see a lot of the hotels that we've already toured today, including uh, that one which I'm staying at. That's the Kempton. Anyway, all is well. The rain has subsided again for a few minutes, long enough to enjoy some fresh air. Talk to you soon. Good morning. The sun is shining in Asheville today, and I left my sunglasses in the hotel room. Uh, but here we are at the Inn at the Biltmore Estate. It is a uh, luxury hotel located on the grounds of Biltmore Estate. We have not yet been up to Biltmore, the biggest house in the United States, I believe. Uh, but that is next. For now, we're just enjoying a lovely breakfast and these amazing rolling hills. fireplace going for you but this was a relaxation area they could come after dinner they could play pool, score. pool. yes they would keep score so they would actually take the cues to... yes <laughs> so the Minton and Spo the and Baccarat Crystal this is the original china that they had in crystal what? so we still have it in our collection it has a GWB for George Washington Vanderbilt it was like the Edith didn't sit in them. It just went with the decor of the room. The table is expandable, so if you're looking at this thinking it's too small, right. you can expand it to be like 40 feet long. So is there like an area? This is like the meet and greet over here. <laughs> and, you'll... and George Vanderbilt is painted in the center, and then his mother, Maria Luisa Saab, is over there. We're now at uh, the Omni Grove Park Inn, my favorite, and I think Chaz's favorite. <laughs> it's really, really a stunning property, and we got a stunning day to see it too. Look at this vista. I think this is what I thought the whole trip would be like. Okay, very last stop of the FAM tour. This is the Grand Bohemian Asheville. It's actually not too far from the Biltmore Estate. It's in a very cute little neighborhood. About to go check out just how cool it is and have dinner with my people. All right, well, this morning I have to say goodbye to Asheville, North Carolina. I enjoyed my stay immensely. I think it's a place you need to return to, certainly to see Biltmore Estate. That's, uh, that's really like a, a bucket list item for tourism in the United States. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of great lodging options. The downtown 
is uh, lively. It's uh, filled with a lot of new hotel product. Lots of streets with great shopping and a lot of great restaurants. Um, I understand there are six James Beard Award winning chefs in Asheville. That's a lot for a city whose population is under 100,000. So uh, make it, make it a trip. Um, I'm looking forward to my next visit. And now I just need to find the shuttle who's taking me to the airport.